When in an earlier video we examined simple linear regression, this time we'll take an intuitive look at multiple linear regression, which is more commonly used as many problems in practice have multiple variables. While with simple linear regression we could only take one independent variable into account, multiple linear regression simply expands this concept to add more independent variables, such as the size of the garden space when projecting the price of a house. This has effectively expanded the model to a 3D graph and has transformed the regression line to a two-dimensional plane, which allows us to equip our machine learning model with more information that may improve the accuracy of our model. The mathematical representation of multiple linear regression is shown here. For this particular example, each one unit increase in square meters of living space will increase the price of the house by 1,880 euros. Likewise, for each one unit increase in the second independent variable, garden size, the final price will be increased by 458 euros. This mathematical representation can be expanded to a general formula which may include limitless number of variables. The purpose of multiple linear regression is to find the optimal parameters symbolized by Greek letter theta by minimizing the sum of the vertical distances from each data point to the regression plane, likewise to simple linear regression, but this time for all of the independent variables of the model. This is almost always done by statistical software. Let's take a look at a concrete example. Let's fit a multiple linear regression model to a hypothetical dataset that consists of housing prices for a certain neighborhood. The dataset consists of four dependent variables, which are total square meters of the house, number of floors, age of the house, and the number of bedrooms. The results of the model could be the following. What do these coefficients mean? If we had a hypothetical house that is 70 square meters in size, has two floors, is 20 years old, and has two bedrooms, the price according to these coefficients would be 240,600 euros. In this example, we used four independent variables, but theoretically you can use as many as you wish. Whether this is a good or a bad idea, we will explore in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.